You're listening to the Business Communicators. Guys, it's time for my favorite segment of the week. And, you know, even though you're listening to this, hopefully on Monday, we call it Wednesday Wisdom. And this is where we pick a random page in this book, this writing journal book, and we go through and we give our responses. And I actually had just opened this book and I was going to give both Thomas and Hattie the opportunity to say like left and right, stop. But the page that I opened it on, ironically, was what is your favorite me time ritual or routine? And I thought that was so appropriate based on what we had the conversations on about self-care and you know, Hattie's quote earlier this week about focusing on yourself before you can be kind, like be kind to yourself before you can be kind to others. So Hattie, I'm going to start off with you. What is your favorite me time ritual or routine? Bubble baths. I like it. it, it, With Epsom salt. I like Dr. Teal's. I will, and it's really like an Epsom salt bath, especially after working out. And that, along with a glass of wine and a magazine, I'm all good. I love it. I love it. Thomas, what about you? What is your favorite me time ritual or routine? I think I might know where it's going. And I think that it maybe has something to do with our guest on next week's episode of the podcast. Am I am I right in that assumption? That That is one of them. You know, it, it's one of those things that, uh, that that I kind of float in and out of different uh, me time things. Um, golf is one of them. If I can get out and play around round of golf, either by myself or with two or three, four close friends, um, it is also fun. Um, sometimes opening a good book, whether it's a business book or whether it's a it's a it's another good book. You know, Hattie, thank you for the recommendation of your book. I'm about halfway through with it right now. Um, and, and then barbecuing is another one. It, it, it it's it it's really just time for me to self reflect. It, it gives me the opportunity. Sometimes it's throwing on a good music album. Um, sometimes acoustic, sometimes hard rock and roll. And just sitting there and enjoying enjoying the music and not having to worry about okay what time is it oh do I need to do this do I need to do that and, and it's just it's just that time just to think to think to think to think what's going on in my life is this is this good is this bad what's going on with work what's going on with family um, and and so it's it's something to keep me active because I fidget all day long but at the same token it's also time to slow down and to smell the roses or for the upcoming podcast to smell the barbecue. <laughs> yeah, so quick quick teaser on next week's episode of the podcast, Daniel Vaughn, who is the chief barbecue editor for Texas Monthly, is going to join us. This is an episode that we're really excited about, specifically Thomas. He's definitely fanboying over this, and so we're really excited to have Daniel. But for me, for my favorite me time ritual or routine, uh, kind of like Thomas, I think music is a huge part of it. Um, and, and I've got, you know, sp- pretty solid speakers in my apartment that, you know, I occasionally like to turn up and listen to. But for me, it's not listening over the speakers. It's putting headphones on, noise-canceling headphones, and just turning up the volume, listening to music, closing my eyes, thinking, and there's just nothing better. Something that I used to do in college whenever I needed to think or reflect or something like that, you know, I went, I went to school in Central Texas, and there were a lot of, like, farm roads that you could drive down. And I would do that. I would just get in my car and drive. And, you know, maybe drive for an hour and a half, two hours. And it was just so fun to, you know, listen to music, maybe not even listen to music and just drive and think. And it was so wonderful. Can't really do that in Houston because you don't want to get out and sit on traffic, you know, in 610, I-45, 59. Probably not the ideal scenario. But uh, I guess if you combine the two, one of my favorite things is kind of road trips, whether it's heading up to Waco for a football game, Dallas to go see family just driving for a long period of time, listening to a podcast or listening to music. It's its something that just kind of resets you and uh, is, is super helpful. I think you hit the nail on the head because I re- did remember when you said road trip, living in Central Texas and Austin was just getting in the car, making the drive around either Lake Travis or just out to the east or to the north and just stopping by those roadside attractions. Just, hey, fresh peaches. Let's stop and have, buy a thing of fresh peaches. Hey, barbecue. Let's go in and see if this barbecue joint's any good because I've had some that were not good doing that. But but it's just it's just that adventure of just let's see what happens. And sometimes I had friends. Sometimes it was just by myself. And and to Austin's point, it's just that time to think and that time to reflect. I'm not gonna lie, I do like being by myself. <laughs> That's why I don't have a problem working remotely. <laughs> it's 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 nice sometimes, you know, to have that quiet time. 
Um, you know, Absolutely. It's, it, you've got to def- definitely, you know, it's that self-care that Hattie talked about. It's incredibly important. So if, if you haven't had self-care in a while, if you haven't had alone time in a while or me time, take time for yourself this week. You know, just, just set aside 30 minutes, an hour. Just do what makes you happy and use that time to recharge and reset. You've been listening to the Business Communicators. 